to the cable car. Two words. Awesome. Awesome. Does um, awesome really just mean there was some Some or? I think so. So it's actually a qualifier. Yeah, it really is. It's awesome. Two metres a second. It's quite slow. I guess that's probably walking pace. You've got a decent stride on you. I do, thank you. You're I welcome. Do have a decent, I, oh, maybe I'm going more than two metres a second. Do you reckon you're going more than two metres a second? Maybe. I think I'm going more than If I see someone I know, I'm certainly going more than two metres a second. In the opposite direction? Across the road. Oh, to, oh. yes, please. Down the tube. We've arrived. Well, that was a very sustainable journey. It felt sustainable, you know. Please, after you, Nish. No, please, after you. Let's not make this a standoff. <laughs> I will not yield. Olá, boa tarde. Então, eu queria dois éclairs clássicos. Okay, here are please. the famous éclairs. Oh, okay. great. These, for the locals, are the best éclairs in town. It's very good éclair. <laughs> yes. Great éclair. And you are thoroughly testing the theory that that eclair is delicious. Listen, Richard, I am a man of science. You are. I posited a hypothesis. You're like Brian Cox. I am. I am the, the Asian Brian, Brian Cox. The Brian Cox of stuffing your face. Yeah, I'm the Brian Cox of eclairs, baby. Of course you are. Posit a hypothesis. This eclair is delicious. That's a hypothesis. Confirmed. Mm. Oh, wow. it's crispy. I didn't think anything could get sweeter than... For a man with my genetic history of type 2 diabetes, I yes. am playing with fire <laughs> pancreas-wise here. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. I feel at this stage I have to draw stumps. Call it a day? I have to call it a day. Because I have to get through the rest of it. Like Daniel Bedingfield. Like Daniel Bedingfield. I've got to get through it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you're not stopping, are you? No. I, okay. like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, can't stop. You can't stop. <laughs> OK. Buckle yes. up. 5G type. Yep. Oh, they've got actual yeah. aeroplane seatbelts. I think Ken Loach directed what we're about to see. Oh, did he really? Yeah. The 5D movie? Yes. Have you ever made a film in 5D? I wish. I wish I had the bravery. I'd love to see the submarine. Yeah. And just watch it and then occasionally someone goes... Oh. Oh, hello. Whoa. Oh, man. This is a motion sickness sufferer's dream. Here we go. Welcome to Porto. I will describe it through the eyes of a dragon, the symbol of the city, in the most exciting... There we go. It's like somebody's trying to start I just don't see why everything has to fly towards you in 3D. How are you feeling? I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot feel worse. Come on, mate, enjoy the Ds. Unless they're trying to make me associate Porto with Vong. <laughs> oh, now we're on top of the building. Oh, I mate. Can see this is really up there. <laughs> this is really up there. <laughs> the oh, oh, the leaf just it. blew at me. Uh, oh, I man. Even These carry. 3D glasses are amazing. It's like there's I loads just, of bubbles coming at me. I just don't care. I don't care whether I live or die now. <laughs> just get me out of Porto. Uh-oh. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh. Just describe what happens now. I'm just going to close my eyes. OK, the, we're currently uh, sort of going over a very, very tempestuous sea. OK. We're circling a lighthouse. I just feel like Dustin Hoffman at the end of Midnight Cowboy now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I just don't care. <laughs> now I'd we're... do a lot of things different if I lived again, Nish. I don't, Whoa! Oh, I don't... Something went off of my, our face. I didn't think I was ready for the combination of fact and end. <laughs> it's a very hard balance to make. Often you can just seem like you're undermining the premise. It's not easy. It's not easy Same at all. Same with Michael Burke. And you would have thought Burke would lead more on the fact, but boy, does he end. Of course he ends. He ends massively. <sighs> oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, it's another one. Oh, stop it. Last time I felt that ill, I'd eaten six prawn sandwiches. Why did you eat six prawn sandwiches? There's an all you can eat buffet. I decided prawns were the most valuable foodstuffs. I should try and eat as much of it as I could. Did you fashion the sandwiches yourselves? 
No, I was I was at an uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah. You could have open-top prawn sandwiches. Right. They were fresh prawns. Yeah. I thought I'll just smash as many of these as I can. <laughs> How Couldn't, many did you get? I'd say at least six, seven. <laughs> Couldn't eat prawns for a decade. <laughs> and I was eating them fast-nish. <laughs> I was eating them so fast. <laughs> Were you just half of them? I didn't realise that you couldn't eat that much prawn in one go. You can't, man is not built for that I much prawn, I thought it was a lean Richard. meat. It's not a lean it's meat. It's not a lean meat. It's a creamy fish. It was with a creamy sauce, a oh, Thousand Island style dressing. You're joking me. And it did it not, was cream on cream. It was cream and that didn't hit me till the fifth. <laughs> I pushed forward for two more, and then I had to lie down, <laughs> so and no, then I was sick. Oh, right. Okay. And I kept being sick. I was just trying to extract value. I do uh, have a self-diagnosed case of IBS. What are your symptoms? Some mornings it's torrential. Volume and ferocity. Absolutely furious. And how often are you hitting the pan? Some days it's all I do. All you do? Well, not all I do, but the majority of what I do. I mean, if that's all you do, that's a bigger problem. That's a bigger problem. You need to kind of get some kind of structure in your day. Because that is not... that's not an office. It's not a working... It's not. It's not ideal working conditions. No, it's not working conditions. So especially for my got, co-workers. Even if, even if you've got a laptop. You can't, take, you can't take meetings in there, not in the current climate. Skype in. Just make sure you keep it close. Just low angle. Very low angle. You want to miss the system. What are you eating? A lot of soup? Just mainly coffee and vegetables. As I say it out loud, I yep. start to think. I'd address the diet. Yeah, I think the diet might be. I think I might need a little bit more. That's your first port of call. I might need some roughage. I think I think it's too much roughage. Oh, do you think it's too much roughage? Yeah, it's too much veg. Bit of carb. You want? Uh, I'd I'd go for a lot of soft breads. A lot of soft breads. Soft breads, and then I'd just sort of tank up on on meats. Just drinking meat. Stuff to bung you up. I'm talking pork. I'm talking fowl. I'm also talking game. 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 Gamey sort of meats. Get Pigeon, pigeon, duck, goose, swan, canard, the canard, grouse. Where does one even get a grouse? Frickin down the market. The market, grouse market. Grouse. market, market grouse. If you think that'll do the job, can't hurt. Hang on. Oh, that's like a weapon in Mortal Kombat. Never seen wow. that before. I feel that it's too ordinary to just put it to your lips and drink it with just your mouth. You've just used your frontal portal. Who are you? David Cronenberg? <laughs> oh, look at it. And yet, as good as it is... Oh, what are you going to moan about now? Too much time's gone into this. The time equals the love. Does it? Yeah. So love's just putting the hours in. <laughs> clock yeah. in, clock off. <laughs> Ten hours of love. Oh, oh dear me. So cynical. We need this for the next serving. Okay. okay. Just Do they bring a razor? <gasps> wow. Oh, I love oh, the this. It just sounds like we're eating this very close to a fountain. Shall we say, Richard, concentrate yes. a little bit. Sorry. Shall we say that we will always meet here this same day every year, as long as we live? What, as if we can get a reservation? Just say yes, say yeah. yes. Okay. Oh, that's so romantic, thanks. Okay. 50%. That again is too strong. I don't know where I am. That's good to know. I, I really... It's hit you that I hard already. I don't know who already. you are. Well, you're but not I alone. Like you. I like you're not you. alone in that. Honestly, I, I love that. Do you? I want to marry it now. You, I mean, it's really lovely. You've got to pace yourself. You've got to pace yourself. And now I want to cry because I love it cheese. so much. Fill up on cheese. I'm um, already drunk. I'm two sips away from biting. I'm going to get the bill. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Chris. 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 Yes. 
I love you, Chris. <laughs> I adore you. Okay. We've gone from love to adore. Yes. Good, isn't it? Yes. If she comes at you with her teeth, <laughs> just it's an elbow down on the top of the head. Yes. No, welcome the bite, always. Don't take the bite. <laughs> she has rabies. Thank you. We don't have rabies, Chris. Why risk it? I don't have ovaries anymore, so don't worry. What's that got to do with rabies? Just I want Chris to feel safe. Okay. There would be no future problem with alimony or anything like that. Okay. There would just be uh, the beauty of the relationship. Okay. Just saying. Mm. Okay. The other thing I'm feeling like I'd like to do is have a tattoo. Yamas. Yamas. Yeah. I think the portions, you could scale them back. And I'm going to take oh, one piece of like? two for the road. And thank you. Welcome. I'm only um, leaving because he said we have to. <laughs> Otherwise, I would stay I and we you. would have a, a very meaningful relationship. Thank have you. a good day. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Okay, in we go. How much do you imagine my foot shrinking over the years? You think your foot's going to shrink? No, it's just there's a lot of options he's giving me. Oh, how does that feel if, if I do that? I, I mean, no part of that. Or something I wanted. That's good. I was just checking you're human. These are called John Lennon sandals because... John Lennon got them. He got them. Did all of the Beatles have sandals from here? Paul McCartney. Oh, yeah. Macca. And I think the drummer, too. Ringo, Ringo I call him. Poor old Ringo. But he was Thomas the Tank Engine yeah. as well. The drummer. Even the when drum. you're in the Beatles, you're basically just the drummer. <laughs> just the drummer. I'm putting lots of butter on Wow, there. that is... Have you ever had bread and butter before? I'm using this as a butter delivery system. <laughs> is it because it's being paid for by the production? I'm trying <laughs> to have a heart attack on camera because <laughs> I think it's the only thing that's going to spice <laughs> up this series. <laughs> it literally will tear. <laughs> no one's ever needed to hack through bread this size. I'll be there in a sec, one sec. And there we go. I mean... I, need to, I mean, how hard do you think bread is? Mate, I mean, if you're needing to saw through your domestic bread... How are we going to get through a meal together? I just don't... We're I'm not going to get through it. <laughs> I'm not Daniel Beddingfield. You're Please. certainly not. Oh. Is he your preferred bedroom DJ? Oh, I thought you were going to say, is he my preferred Beddingfield? <laughs> oh! Is he... Is yes. It, oh, he is. I think he is. Yours? Has, has Natasha been on a trip with you? No. Why well, do you think you're here? Understood. <laughs> Last minute call from Natasha. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in Lithuania with Jimmy Carr. I understand. <laughs> is the Vinci she is available? Yeah. What's that? That's What's a, that five that's digit? <laughs> right. That's your agent's number. Eight 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 one eight. Right. Do you like eating in restaurants? Do you find it strange? What bit do you find strange? That someone brings you food. Right and you never see them again. Yeah. Oh, that you never ever that, hang out again? That seems an unusual relationship. It feels that preparing food for someone, you, ought to, you somehow ought to know them. Yeah, it's intimate. It is intimate. And it's that intimacy <laughs> that I reject. <laughs> sure. We've got, we've got to the crux of that quite quickly, haven't we? Do you like eating out in restaurants? Yeah, I do. I sometimes quite like eating out in restaurants on my own. Of course you do. What's the problem? I feel like you'd prefer that. In a way. Mm. When I was young, my dad couldn't quite understand the idea of arriving at a table before the food was there. Yeah, I can see that. The whole Would... point of coming to the table was that the food had been put down. So he'd rather pull up the car as they're bringing the dish to the table? Yeah, or and... drive in. Yeah, un understandable. That's why they exist. So, I'm late to the restaurant. Trend. <laughs> They'll never take off. Well, these are like trendy brooches. Incredibly trendy. You could put a bike one on. Are you a cyclist? I am. Of course you are. So would, would I... Fix gear. No. Mm. Why? Why'd you say that? No. Why? Are you picking a fight? Is that a fight? <laughs> you said That's... it with a look in your eye. With a, I said it with a look <laughs> in my eye. <laughs> you did. There's a lot of backed up hurt coming out <laughs> that I don't feel I can take full responsibility for. I think this one's good for Not you. Not a fixed bike? No. <laughs> What's the opposite of a fixed bike? A geared bike. Geared, yeah. yeah. Gear, gears for days on mine. Really? Yeah. Racer, mountain, fold up. <laughs> just, just 
It's road. If you don't want to specify the bike you ride, I feel I feel because you don't like want to jeopardise it, your I, sponsorship deal. I feel like that's fine. I am going to say something wrong, you, you and Halfords are going to do a run. You want to keep that private. Yeah, it just feels a bit of an intimate yeah. detail that I'm not yeah. ready to share. Your riding life is a private life. <laughs> I understand that. I do the cat. Oh, that's kind of cheeky, isn't it? I'm so just very worried about making a judgment now <laughs> that's going to trigger I, you. I, I,